Are your black, black hearts prepared for the same thing as last time again? Can you bear it? Yeah, his name's Vent playing. What? Hey guys, name's Finn playing. Now that I've established such a close working relationship with Lord Gervasius's security systems, Going back in for those masks shouldn't be too much trouble. I hope we can count on the quality of this working relationship. Gervasius's security systems are not the most dangerous thing I've ever worked with. Do I have to ask what is? <laughs> We're on the clock. How has Karis been using the time we've had to wait? He's been making some modifications to the Mechanist Cathedral, including some sort of valves or seals on the doors. Why, we don't know yet. Inside, it just looks like a huge factory full of machines and equipment. Whatever it is, I'm sure it's tied into those precursor artifacts. The sooner we can get a hold of those, the sooner we'll know. And get Karis off our backs. And stop whatever he's planning. Uh-huh. Don't wait up. I'll be working late. There's that famous line, don't wait up, I'll be working late, that, you know, somebody interpreted to be a thing that he says because he's shipped with her for some reason. I, <laughs> I think he's just saying, don't wait up, I'll be working late, but hey, steal all three precursor masks, already did that. Gervasius got a hands on a cultivator, his hands, one-stop artifact shopping center, yeah, 2800 loot all of a sudden. Pretty high, really, and don't kill anybody, but I can knock any buddy I want out so rough stuff really is actually allowed I should have got more loot in the last mission to be honest actually but I mean seriously I know that there's like nothing even I mean I don't even need these really I mean I mean I mean I mean I mean gas air I don't need any of this stuff I could just KO to my heart's content oh wow this time there's water so it's slightly different there's rain and wind and weather and hell bent for you know a thing let us money grub it up because, you know, this... Whoa! This is a game about being a money grubber and also a head conquer! Oh, <laughs> Boy, you guys do not know how good it feels to be able to conk somebody on the head in this mission. Holy shit! <laughs> wow, there's this whole other place. But these places are pretty empty. I don't think there's any loot around here. And really, I want to go in the secret passageway because, I mean, yeah, seriously now, secret passage is serious. Hello! <laughs> Of course, these that doesn't count as a secret this time because, you know, it's too easy or we already found them. There's probably no official secrets in here. Probably this is just like a mild-eyed, wild, cherry, bold guess over here. I don't know, but life is pretty depressing. Yep. Oh, hey, it's a healing potion. Amazing! As I was saying, life is dark! That sounds like a tagline for the dark engine. The dark engine! Poof! Life is dark! TM! Don't take our trademark ever, or we'll sue you and send you cease and desist letters for no reason, because that will make people hate us, and this is 2013 and we still haven't realized that the way you sell is by making people like you. Oh, man. When thou considerest thy place in the world, know that the builder chose thee as a cog in the vast gear of his masterpiece. Take thy place and rejoice, for without all cogs in perfect order, the gear runs not. When thou lookest about thee, see thou all proceeds in good order, and know that it is a sign from the builder that thou dost thine own part, Caris. Oh, wow. Harris. Now, one thing I do remember for no reason, even though it's not very memorable, is <laughs> that there's now a guy in this room. Or, or a guy and a servant. I thought he was turned with his back away, but apparently not. Sort of bizarre. Hey, you! Shut up! 
Good. 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 Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, this is good for me to. Oh, oh, I like the. Oh, this is this is very entertaining. Oh, oh, the, yeah. The, oh, the, uh, I, I'm a thief. Oh. I don't know if there's anything of value in there though, so I might just freaking leave him. That sounds like a workable plot indeed. Shake it freely, twist it out. Okay. Let's get serious. Now those watchers are on, I guess, but this one has like a much shorter turning curve or something. That's like a learning curve, except you blindfold yourself and walk in a circle. It's very different and the same. Wait, now I have to sort of go in here. The first few rooms you go in are pretty much predetermined what you can go in without doing an alerting thing and what you can't. Hmm. Joma, we need a new gardener before I get back. The terrariums must be in tip-top shape. Karina loves plants and I've been tucking up the terrariums. If they don't look their best, I'm sunk with her. Damn, you must see this girl to believe her. Do your best. If Hobart isn't already overworked, get her to coordinate with a new gardener and get a crew planting new trees outside. Draft servants or guards or whoever to do the work. Get the trees from wherever you can on short notice. Hell, dig them up from Baffords if you need a source. Oh, Baffy will understand. He still owes me for the time he swindled me on that painting. You know, the one he swore was an original Durant. He knows I'm still annoyed about that, even if it was a prank. Bram G. P.S. Make sure to up the number of flower arrangements around the manor. It can be a drab place sometimes, and we should do anything we can to spruce it up for her first visit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Instead of just giving her a bunch of flowers, give her an entire mansion with flowers all up ins. The ladies will love you if you do a relatively shallow act and and uh, don't back it up with any sort of a more substantial act. They will fall in love for evars and evars and evars and that guy's walking towards and I didn't even... There's a secret here that I blatantly missed. I'm like, duh, I don't remember this really obvious thing that isn't even behind a banner. I am pretty great. It's not as satisfying when you don't get the secret found sound, though. I gotta say that much at least. Oh, hey. This, yeah, this level's a lot more full-featured and complete. There's AIs all over the place, all up the place, if you want to use my normal way of talking for some reason, even though my normal way of talking is not exactly normal. But, uh, hey, if you wanted to use it, you could. Let's set all the clocks to midnight, because it is midnight. Clearly, this is the case. Oh, wow, this door's locked now. I don't know if it was before, <laughs> but it definitely is now. And, and yeah... Because sometimes you just got to move on through a door and move on and upwards and uh, be a traveler and follow the arrow of time. I tell you, it is as painful as a pinprick from an elephant's tusk. Sometimes it must be done. Foreman Hobart, congratulations, Foreman. The grand opening of the exhibition is almost upon us. The preparations have gone extremely smoothly, and I must admit that I did not expect so thorough a job. Though the influence of you mechanists is... Th through the influence of you mechanists, this household has become both more efficient, efficient and more secure. I consider myself to be a practical man and a man of the world. I appreciate the transition this manor has undergone through its association with your master, Karras. The devices he has sent are indeed wondrous. The Hammerites were always tramping about, moaning of doom and gloom. They kept our servants docile with a dogma, but did little else. Why, Father Norrell could be downright embarrassing when we had guests. However, your kind, with the first masked servants you've sent, has shown us how to make our servants obedient and utterly creepy, and the new priest is as civilized and reasonable as one could hope for. I hope we can continue this relationship, and I will help persuade Lord Gervasius to speak highly of your order when next they come before the Regent Council, Steward Duma. Oh, well, man, that's pretty great. As I was saying, Duma, 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 Du, this sort of pointlessly locked, there's nobody really walking here, but I guess... If you were in the hallway, you'd be in the hallway, but I don't know why you would be, because you'd be coming here to turn shit off. And yeah, it's pretty cool, I must say, though. You know, I think that there are a few good ideas in the idea of having two missions. Like, in practice, I just can't see how it would really work well, and it doesn't really, but the idea of going into case a place beforehand is kind of neat sounding, I guess. I mean... Pfft. And the idea of having a level where you can do one thing in the first time and then skip it the second time, like this objective, that's kind of cool. And I don't know. I mean, I think that both, both, it's both that the ideas don't necessarily all work in practice and that the fact that they didn't really have time to try to make them work in practice in the first place because it was kind of rushed. But, you know, I just, I don't know. 
Usually, as you may have noticed, even if something's not very good, I often see something in it. Like, I often see some potential. I guess I could be, like, somebody's agent or recruiting guy or whatever you call them. Or they go, oh, man, you guys, you're, you guys, you're, you're, you're such a great band. Under You have got such great potential. We want to recruit you and change your sound completely so that you end up not being popular and then being so confused and shocked when you end up not making us. I mean, you are the money. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, I'm, like, 19 and a half years old with cool shades recruiting people. I'm in with the cool kids. I think I need to shut up sometimes because I like to talk. Talk. I know this comes as a shock to people. It's like a really shocking revelation that should put me in jail along with other speech offenders. But, uh, you know, I just thought I should admit that and get it, get the guilt off my mind. I like talking and I mean, there's just, I didn't choose to like talking. I was born that way and I, there's just, there's just nothing I can really do, nor is there anything I'd want to do. Oh, I did it again. Oops. Oh look, I accidentally reversed my recording buttons again, and now I'm floating above the ground. <laughs> um... Yeah... And I unlocked this door, which was an exciting act, I tell you what. Oh man, and yeah, it's all pretty great, because, you see, Pretty great is just a thing that I say when I don't know what to say, but instead of saying supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, which just takes too long and causes all involved to be paid too much, I just expedite the process by saying, that's pretty great. I think that's pretty great. What now, father of a bovine? What now? These... Oh, look at us, we're walking around in a brightly lit room, aren't we great? Whereas I complained about the last level being empty, so really, I just am never happy, no matter what happens. <laughs> Told you, crying on camera gets you all the fame. I seem to be talking a lot about being famous lately. It must be because, it must be because I've been listening to Lords of the Underground. Back to work. Oh yeah, there's actual loot in here because it's an actual exhibition this time, and there's actual almost total lack of darkness. It is. Pretty supercalifragilistic XP Alley dope. I guess I could use more layers in my pot filter, but it just ain't happening with the homemade one made out of uh, nylon, quote unquote, and a plastic colored circle, quote unquote. So, I guess I don't know how you're supposed to get behind these guys, but I know how you're supposed to snatch loot. That's one thing I am good at. I may not be good at walking on a floor without making a complete racket, but I am at least good at taking. I'm good at taking and clacking and possibly chasing my friend's sisters around Craig's cleft. Other than that, I'm not good at anything. Not even good at making smart quips or anything. No, that is my that is my least favorite thing to do. Is this guy just facing a wall? Well, wall facer, there's no wall-mounted TVs yet, so I don't see what uh, you th think or believe yourself to even be doing. That's better. Yes, I think I've had enough forced ghosting for one year, and that's why I'm not even bothering to ghost any portions of anything. I'm just... Oh, this is the same exact door. I'm just kind of going out and, and, and knocking everybody out. And also, it's kind of annoying how this map is now mapped out, because now it counts as being on the second floor. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Where is a guy standing? Why does he keep... Oh, he's there. Okay. What the hell is this? Ah, yes. It's this Carlock Halbert room. Well, might as well do a thing. Man, whatever. Apparently this is the barracks. Apparently it might actually have something in it this time. Saving in midair, that should be an achievement. Apparently there used to be... Apparently there used to be a bug here which would make it possible or something. But now it's kind of not because... Maybe that guy is supposed to turn. I don't, I don't know, man. This barracks seems kind of annoying for its own good. It looks like there's a secret door over there. That's weird. I don't remember them, there being one there in particular, but hey. Ugh. Racket makers unite, I guess. All right. This guy must turn. Surely. Because that's like the only way you'd even be getting past him. 
short of using a flash bomb, of which I've only got two. I mean, hell, I'm not wasting it on you. Maybe I could just run. I guess so. He didn't even first comment. He probably did technically. Look, damn it! How'd you get? Shut up, man. Seriously, I'll find your sweet spot from behind. I don't care how creepy that sounds. This is just how you do when you play a game. I'm getting just less willing to use skill the more I play this game. It's kind of sad. Shut up! How am I even supposed to friggin' do- Hmm. God damn it. Come on. Look. Hey. <laughs> He's got a key, but it's probably just a copy of the key on that other guy. I don't know. I'm just thinking that since this is now pretty well guarded, huh? it's, it's now completely right rearranged. <laughs> you guys remember, right? There were like two beds in the middle of the room last time, and now there's three beds and two of them are shoved over to one side. <laughs> I mean, that's crazy that they could move beds and add another one between me coming here. I guess that's, yeah, well, whatever. Still, though, it does seem like a map design issue to me and not, uh, you know, supra intentional. Let's give a bunch of loot. Well, I do have a high loot goal, so actually it's good that I came over here, really. Uh, you know, it's just kind of annoying to get to, I suppose. Because, yeah, you have to run in front of that guy or otherwise dodge him. I mean, I guess maybe we've got an invis potion. No. I don't think we could even buy one. Wait, what? There's this? Where did I notice that? What am I, stupid? Oh well. I guess I'll just go along this pointless passage that doesn't even lead to the spookerific library or anything spookerific at all, really. It just leads along a back passage so that you can be in a Fry and Laurie sketches. You know, it's pretty super califragilistic. I think I used that joke already, but I didn't use that joke already because it's not a joke so much as a really stupid sounding statement. So I used that really stupid sounding statement already. Get it right. Anyway, presuming that this is going to be a weird place, I guess I'll be weird to match. <laughs> There seems to be a guy snoring, however, and that, more than anything else, is unacceptable in today's modern world. So, uh, you know, I'm going to get rid of this pest infestation or infestation. Like so, and these guys are very easy because they don't even fight back even if you do do a thing to them. With that out of the way, I think I'm going to end it here. On this jolly note of having somebody's leg stick through a wall. Oh, let's see if it sticks through any visible wall. It doesn't. How disappointing. Anyways, I'm going to leave it here for today. So see you guys next time when I continue doing the same mission as last time. Ooh, who's a cute little dead guy? Ooh. And bye for now.